Law enforcement in Shelby County are equipping themselves with the tools they need to strengthen relationships in the community. WREG's Kwamecha Wilborn explains why officers are starting with some of the youngest civilians. <laughs> With each 911 call, first responders are faced with the task of stepping into what may be one of the most stressful events for a family. In many cases, children are present. You never really know how, how the young person is going to react, and sometimes there's a certain hysteria that's taking place. That's why James Fisher Davis and Kevin Gatlin founded First Responder Kids for Kids. They say the kits contain items that are designed to be used as a tool for first responders to comfort young children during traumatic emergency situations. Items inside the kits include noise canceling earplugs, encouraging notes and toys. And it's also used as a distraction so that we can have those conversations that we need to have with adults at the scene as well. Saturday morning, the Charlotte-based organization provided more than 300 kits to the Memphis Police Department and the Shelby County Sheriff's Office with the help of Walmart. We are trying to put these kits together to support the children in the community. Everything in this kit was carefully picked with kids in mind. Organizers say this is just one tool that law enforcement can use to continue to build relationships in the community. Most people have a passion for little kids. You always want to do something to help them if they're crying, if they're hurt, or even if they're seeing someone in their family, a parent or somebody close by that they know and love that's hurt. Memphis Police Lieutenant Kimberly Collier says sometimes an officer's presence is not well received, but she says they do the best they can to build that trust. We're about if all they see is what's on television and they think we're bad or if their families have a history with law enforcement that may not be so good. If you come to a child and let them know, you teach them things, then they'll learn how to better react and respond. Organizers say the goal is to change negative narratives regarding law enforcement. So far, the organization has provided thousands of kits to more than two dozen agencies across the country. Reporting for your news leader from Whitehaven, Kwame Trewolborn, WREG News Channel 3. Important to build those relationships there. And for more information about Kits for Kids, you can head on over to our website, WREG.com.